Hello there. I just uh, came back from Rabat's uh, yesterday. Uh, the tournament is now over, so as I promised, uh, a short recap uh, is now to follow. Uh, well, first of all, before I show you the results and my <laughs> very poor performance, I, I want to make some comments, uh, some observations regarding uh, this particular tournament and uh, I believe uh, the over the board just in general. So one of the consequences of this global pandemic uh, is that uh, there are many few chess events. Uh, the over-the-board tournaments are not played uh, regularly. There are traveling restrictions, as you know, and uh, everything else, which uh, makes uh, over-the-board uh, federated events uh, inaccessible to uh, many people, especially children. So what happened in this period? Uh, all the players who strive to improve, who are working on their improvement, and most of them are children, but uh, like you know, they're adults as well. Uh, during these past two years, they were uh, playing lots of online chess, uh, reading books, uh, working with the coach, maybe playing uh, local events in their local club and uh, so on. And so when they come, finally come to the tournament, like uh, here in Rabats, they come with very low rated, uh, but in fact uh, their strength is much uh, more than uh, their rating uh, shows. Uh, so you will see in this game I faced uh, opponents who are rated like uh, 1100, 1200, 1300, and uh, they play like they are at least uh, 17 or 1800 strength. And uh, th th this is, uh, this is the, the phenomenon which uh, just happened. And uh, I, I think my opinion is that it will take years uh, for the rating to catch up the real strength. So uh, long, sh long story short, uh, the rating of the play players does not reflect their strength. And uh, this is bad news for the people uh, who are uh, higher rated because uh, they need to face uh, lower rated opponents and, pl and play uh, and uh, get rewarded or punished as if they uh, lost against a weaker player and uh, in fact the player is stronger they, than uh, they are or, or equal. So this is what happened to me and uh, not just to me, I talked to other people. Uh, many high rated players uh, lost lots of rating points in this tournament and also many lower rated players, especially kids, they got uh, many, many rating points. And uh, well, this, this is just the state, uh, the state of things uh, today. And also uh, one particularity is that uh, by the end, so it was nine round tournament, and by the end of the round eight, uh, the player who was ranked uh, number one was a uh, non-title player. He was, a, in fact, a national uh, candidate master, but with no international title. So there were uh, several uh, IMs, FNs, uh, national masters, and uh, again, all, the person who almost won the tournament, he didn't at the end, he lost in the ra last round, but he, he held the, the number one for a long time, for the most of the tournament, was an um, untitled player. And the more interesting thing is that he's uh, 50 years old. So you, you can see how uh, he, he probably, uh, during this, uh, this lockdown, I can guess, I, I don't know the man, but I can guess that during the lockdown, he, he probably played um, lo lots of online chess, uh, watched lots of videos, and, and his strength is not... Uh, uh, his, he, his strength is in the level of the title player, not on the rating uh, he has. So, okay, uh, that being said, uh, I performed poorly <laughs> in this tournament, uh, so this all can sound just like a justification for my poor results. Uh, the truth is, I, I have myself to blame for the pure, pure results. I know exactly what I did wrong. I, I didn't uh, stick to my uh, thought process which I which I developed and I will make a video about uh, this this thought process which is very important and very efficient because every time I uh, I stuck to this uh, process I made a good moves uh, every time I deviated from this process I made bad moves so this is my fault to be too lazy to stick to the thought process which is simple by the way it's not like 56 questions it's it's very simple thought process I will I will share it uh, with you later and uh, another uh, error is that uh, I uh, consistently violated the golden rule of calculation. And the golden rule of calculation is that you should uh, stop calculating on your opponent move, not your own, your own move. And the funny thing is, is uh, which um, you will see when, when I go uh, game by game, that uh, in almost all the game I lost or drew, I had uh, uh, be either better position or winning position. So there is only one game, I think, in the round two, which I lost uh, by not being better. In the old other games, in which I lost or drew, I was I either had a better position or I had completely winning position, like plus three, plus six, or even a plus twenty eight in one in one game. Um, so well, this this is my fault. So uh, I managed to overplay them to get all the positional advantages, to get the initiative, to get the attack, to get in po the position in which I have plus six or plus nine. 
and then I uh, somehow uh, blow up the, the, the realization, the conversion, um, lose a piece or something and then I, I lose the game or I draw the game. So this is only one aspect of the game I should be working on, I'm not sure how, besides just uh, sticking to my uh, thought process and just to force myself to, to really go through my thought process after, after every move. I don't see how, how, how else uh, should I improve this, um, uh, this aspect of the game. But okay, we, I will I will uh, probably uh, figure something out. So I, I know I know what mistakes I did. I was also impatient. I uh, okay. There there were, there were other factors. I uh, I, I didn't sit uh, over the board uh, uh, all the time. I walked around a lot uh, because I yeah I had some some uh, backache and so on. So I had to walk. But uh, still, um, it's. Uh, I, I was I was lazy in in several occasions, so this is why uh, I I performed poorly. And also, like I said, I was unlucky enough to face uh, stronger opponents uh, whose rating is is low. Okay, that all being said, let me now show you my performance and uh, results and briefly comment on the games. Okay, here it is. So uh, this is the summary of my my tournament performance. So you can see my performance rating was terrible, <laughs> under fifteen hundred. Uh, I have lost forty. Uh, 40 points of my feeder rating, so my feeder rating will be under 1500 uh, from now on, and uh, this is <laughs> very, very humiliating for me, but okay, this is just uh, the way things are. Okay, let me then just uh, comment on the games. So in the round one, I faced this uh, strong opponent, um, as you can see, and um, it's actually a funny thing, because uh, this, uh, this man, Tomislav, uh, he's this uh, guy from the club, stronger guy from the club I, I often uh, mention in my videos. Uh, he's the closest thing I have to coach. So he's a local guy from, from, the, from my club and uh, he helps me to analyze my games. So he, he went uh, with me through almost all my over the board and, uh, and lucky games. He also gave me many advices about how to choose the openings, how to play. And uh, whenever I have a question, whenever I have a game which I'm not sure uh, what went wrong? Uh, uh, he's the one I, I ask, and then we discuss uh, um, we discuss games, and they, in general we we talk about chess on, a, on almost on a daily basis. Uh, so, uh, and he's uh, practically the only person I I know personally in this uh, in this whole tournament. And so it was very funny when uh, in the first round uh, two of us were were paired. We were we were laughing. So it's. It was it was funny. So um, I he, he's a very strong player. He just recently earned the title of uh, you can see this MK MK means candidate master, uh, but uh, national so national candidate master. He doesn't have international title, but obviously very uh, strong player. So I sit over the board. Uh, I'm sh sure I, I will I will lose. I mean, uh, I, I know how strong he is, but somehow when the when the game went. Uh, he he made a mistake. He uh, he sacrificed the bishop. Uh, it was similar like the Greek uh, Greek gift sacrifice. So he sacrificed the bishop. Uh, he thought that he will have a strong and winning attack, but I somehow managed to find uh, defense. So I defended uh, from the attack. We exchanged few pieces, and in the end, I just uh, uh, ended up with a pure bishop. Uh, so I, I have won a pure bishop after after all this uh, attempt of the attack uh, went through. And not only that, but uh, then I managed to uh, force him to exchange queens. So we exchanged queens and we ended up with, uh, he had only rook. I had rook and the bishop and we both have like uh, five or four pawns each. And uh, well, it was completely winning position like uh, minus nine. And uh, then at some point I just blundered the bishop and uh, the position suddenly became equal and uh, more of the fair play than... Uh, than anything else, he offered me a draw and uh, withdrew the game. So if the game went on, uh, I mean, yeah, the computer says it's completely equal, but uh, him being a better player, he'll probably win if the game went on. But okay, we withdrew, I got some rating points, I got some confidence, and that was it. So round one uh, went well, although I was pretty angry at myself because I had a position like minus six uh, all the time, we being a piece up, I should have won this. So. I mean, if before the game somebody told me you will draw with uh, with Tomislav, I would sign sign off immediately. But uh, once you are piece up, then you you are angry at yourself for uh, for not winning this. Okay, the second round was uh, against a very strong national master. Uh, she is a woman national master, but you can see that uh, she has a rating above two thousand, so she is a very strong player. 
And uh, there is nothing much to say here. I made uh, one error in the in the opening. I gave her the bishop pair and the better position. And being a better player, she just overplayed me and I lost the game. I mean, uh, I had no no chances. So no, not much to say here. Um, in the third game, I faced this player who is uh, yeah, uh, who is like a 1100 player. So. Uh, you expect, you know, just some easy game and uh, just some uh, very weak player who just blunder a piece in the first 10 moves and you will easily win. But like I said, uh, the ratings are uh, does not reflect the, the strength of the of the player. So um, he's only he's only um, he, he's he's a small kid, like 10 years old, uh, and uh, his his only drawback is that he plays very quickly. So he spent like three minutes on, on the clock for the whole game, and I spent an um, hour and 15 minutes. So uh, if he just uh, plays a little bit slower and uh, takes his time, it will be very difficult to to win uh, against this player. So I had a nice nice tactical combination to win his queen, and he fell for it. So I won the queen, but he, he still kept playing uh, with, with the queen down, and uh, I had some difficult time, uh, time winning, even though I was a queen, uh, I, I, won, I won the queen. Uh, he, he had some passed pawns, and uh, he played uh, through the bitter end, but okay, somehow I managed to, to win this. Uh, the fourth game, I played again against a very strong player. Uh, by the way, this first uh, th uh, this first column is international rating, and this is a national rating. Uh, so this is FIDA rating. This this first number. So uh, yeah, this player uh, also a very strong player. Uh, he was uh, black in this game, and um, he had a bad tournament. So he needed to win. Uh, in order to to come back uh, to come back to the tournament, he he probably uh, has ambitions to become a title player because he's he's also young, uh, around twenty years old. Uh, so the game went. Uh, I got a better position uh, at at one point. At least this, this is my evaluation. I still didn't analyze the game. Um, anyway, I I had a better bishop. I had a knight uh, uh, on e5 on a strong outpost. Uh, his all uh, pieces were cramped. He couldn't make. Uh, Good move. So all I needed to do is to be patient, to hold the position, to to improve the position a bit by bit, and he couldn't do anything. Instead, I played a very bad move. Uh, I played a5, and uh, I forgot to, like I said, I forgot to uh, to go through my uh, my checklist. So every time you make a move, you have to ask yourself, uh, that, does this move uh, create some weaknesses? And uh, this goes especially for pawns. So if you play a5 b5 is immediately a weakness. So I played a5, b5 became uh, available for his bishop, he put his bishop on b5 and suddenly all my advantage uh, just had, uh, disappeared. Uh, suddenly we, we had the equal position because he, his bishop uh, was completely inactive, was suddenly very active and uh, being a better player he won from this uh, equal position. This, this is my evaluation, uh, we will see when I analyze the game. Uh, then comes the fifth, uh, the fifth round. Uh, in the fifth round, I played uh, against uh, uh, against the player. You, you can see he's seventeen hundred. Uh, I, I know that he watches my YouTube channel because he uh, he commented this uh, after the game. And uh, here I was uh, righteously punished for violating uh, the opening principles and the rules, which I uh, teach to all my all of my students. And uh, in all of my videos, and th this is that uh, in the opening you should uh, develop your pieces, not play with the same piece twice, uh, not go into some kind of attacks and uh, some kind of variations, combinations before you develop your your pieces, connected rooks, and so on. So somehow I thought that I could get away uh, by violating these rules, and uh, I didn't develop my my bishop, I, I didn't complete my development, and I started jumping with my knight around, and uh, I was punished. So this this game was like I think fourteen moves, and I, I lost the piece in fourteen moves, and I I, uh, uh, I resigned. Okay, sixth game, very interesting. So uh, this player is a uh, he's fifty years old, and this is his first tournament. I played with his son. He has a kid who plays um, who plays chess. I played in Schulte. I played with, with his son. I, I won the game. So he's the father of, of the son who plays chess, and. Uh, and the people there in the club just suggested him, well, why don't you go to the tournament? He was like, no, I don't want to. They were like, oh, you should, and so on. So he finally went to the tournament. So this is his first tournament. And this is kind of player 
he probably plays chess his whole life. Uh, he probably watch, uh, uh, watches, you know, on the TV when, when the chess is on. He plays with his son, with his friends, with his family. But he, he's, no, he's not a typical, uh, you know, chess player who reads books, uh, who goes to the club, who goes to the tournament. He's just some, somebody who knows chess uh, very well, has, has a good intuition, and uh, he decided to go to, to, to the uh, first tournament. And um, this is also the game I had a, a huge advantage right from the opening and um, all the way to the end. So uh, the game went, uh, we played the Italian game, but uh, that he castled long and he also played uh, a6. So he, he gave me a hook so I can, I can, I can attack. So we, we have op opposite side castling. I was better developed, my pieces were more active. Uh, I had a quicker attack, so I had the attack all the time. His all pieces were tied in the defense. And uh, I just needed this 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 punch to to, to finish him. Uh, at some point, moment, the evaluation of the position was plus twenty eight for me. Uh, so, but I couldn't. I I just uh, it was a very long game, uh, more than four hours long, and then uh, I blundered the piece, and he he won the game. So, it, it was it was uh, probably the most difficult uh, the uh, game I, I have ever played because it lasted for so long, and it was very very tense. Um, in the seventh round, uh, untitled uh, player, uh, this is in fact a girl who is like 11 or 10 years old. Um, and you can notice, uh, yeah, she, she's she, she doesn't have international title, so this is her foreign, first international tournament. But if you look at her national title, she's stronger than me, uh, comparing the national title. So again, you know, untitled player, you're expecting, okay, it will be, it will be an easy win. But uh, no, she played very, very well. I was white. I I, I tried to achieve uh, the initiative. I I had a better position at some point, and then I blundered the bishop. Uh, but in fact, okay, not, not the bishop. I I gave, gave up a bishop pair for the rook, so she was better. And in my calculation, I was thinking that I, I I'm giving just a bishop for the rook. And then I had a, <laughs> I think she was better after winning my bishop pair for the rook. But I still had the initiative and the attack, so I just. Uh, went on and attack and uh, keeping the initiative and uh, I managed to uh, to win uh, to to win uh, to win the game. But it was just you know uh, just just win win by force. No 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 uh, nice nice just things here. Um, eighth round uh, again I faced a kid. He was nine years old, so nine year old killed kid, and his international rating is like twelve hundred. But again, if you look his national rating, I mean, international rating is what counts. But if you need to look at the national rating, he's stronger than me in the national rating. So again, I, I faced I faced a kid who was, uh, you know, 1200, but in fact, uh, he should be at least 1700 uh, uh, international rating. And so it was a draw. I did have a better position again. I uh, we went to the ending. I was I had a bishop. He had knight. Uh, the pawns were on the both sides of the board. So I had some advantages and I have some concrete winning chances in the end game, which I missed and uh, it was a draw, but he played very, very well. So he managed to find all the good moves. He didn't blunder anything. I couldn't win a pawn. So I, I could win him only by getting to the better end game and then play the end game perfectly. So it's not something you expect from the 1200 players to expect that he will just blunder uh, several pieces. And also this eight round, I was very sick. I, uh, I don't. I, I woke up and I was coughing all, all the time. So I had to go uh, after after each uh, after each move I made. I had to go outside and j j just to cough because you know in this time if you cough in the in the hall the people get sensitive. So I had to, had to go out to cough uh, after every move. So it was uh, more more of the difficult. And uh, the last game, it was. Uh, <laughs> It was the last game, uh, not just for me, but the last game uh, played in the in the tournament because uh, this game lasted for more than four hours. Uh, everybody else were, uh, uh, were over with their games, so we are the only ones uh, still playing. And uh, you know, the closing ceremony is five minutes after the last game ends, so every, everybody was watching and waiting uh, for the game to end. Again, the same story. So, thirteen hundred international, eighteen hundred na national rating. So. He's not 1300 strength, he's much stronger, uh, but he came as 1300, so we, uh, we, uh, we played the game. Um, again, I had a better position, I uh, at, at one point a uh, much better position, I had the attack. 
I had um, several opportunities uh, to win the game, but uh, somehow he defended perfectly. Uh, after I mean, first I, I got a better position. I overplayed uh, played him. I had the center. I had the attack. I had the initiative. Okay, I played this uh, perfectly, and now perfectly. I, I played this good, and then I I got the attack, and now I just needed to to, to checkmate him, and uh, at one at that moment his defense was perfect. So whatever I did, he saw this, he, he uh, you know, he stopped all my plans and everything. So it was uh, it was actually very, uh, very interesting how, how he defended. And then uh, at one um, moment, I missed a very important defensive resources he had, and this cost me a piece. So I lost a piece and, and uh, the game in the end. So if you look at my rating, yeah, in the first game, I did get 16 points rated. Okay, this is I. I lost, I won, but then in, in these last uh, rounds I lost uh, much rating. So here I lost 30 points of the rating because I was playing with 1300 player, and uh, here I played against 1200 players, draw 13. Yeah, so this is why I got minus uh, minus 40. Okay, and this is it. Uh, short recap. So uh, this is how the tournament uh, went. So w what am I to do now? Should I despair? Uh, you know, it's like I said, it is humiliating to go. Uh, below 1500 and uh, this was really smacking the face. I mean to be uh, <laughs> tear apart by, by all these uh, these uh, kids who are underrated uh, But yeah, what I mean what to do nothing. I am just uh, Yesterday the tournament uh, finished. I played the last game today. I will just uh, take the polgar I, <laughs> I will continue my my, my work. I, I don't see what am I doing wrong I I'm do I think still I think I'm doing everything uh, what I should be doing so I should be um, going I should be improving my calculation improving my board vision improving my pattern recognition this is why I work with Polgar book you know made in two made in three miniature games and games and uh, so on I will continue watching the YouTube videos uh, reading occasional books and um, Maybe the, the change I will do is that I will really try this time to, to give up the online blitz and uh, to stick to the long uh, uh, long games because I realize that uh, uh, the main problem is in, in this uh, thinking process and uh, uh, forcing myself to stick to the thinking discipline in uh, during the old all game not to give up not not stick to the thinking discipline for the first three hours of the game and then then stop so to force myself to, uh, really to be uh, disciplined all all game so this is why um, I will try to play more uh, longer time control games I will play uh, lone wolf okay it's 30 plus 30 it's not like uh, 90 plus 30 like uh, uh, federated but still I will try to play uh, longer time control games and uh, I, I'll just continue doing what uh, whatever I'm doing and uh, hoping that uh, this was uh, an exception, one bad tournament uh, uh, among many. So I'm looking forward to the next over the board tournament, which unfortunately I don't know uh, when when it will be. Probably in the summer. So I have like six months to 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 work for for this uh, next tournament. Okay, uh, thank you very much for sticking with me. Uh, this video uh, went uh, longer than I thought. It, Will, it will be if you watched so far uh, thank you if you like the video click the like button subscribe to my channel if you didn't uh, leave the comment below and uh, i will see you with uh, more chess uh, concretely with uh, the analysis of these over the board games cheers